happy new year guys we are at 2021 now and i hope you are all okay i know there is two little rounds on my spec but i can't look at the light without this so I'm sorry about that and um, i know you're getting like a little bit noise <laughs> sorry about that too because i am at my home you know 2020 corona and all that so actually corona is not that bad for me i learned a lot of things and um, i don't have the corona the corona season is not that bad for me i got a lot of free time and i learned a lot of lot of softwares and i'm trying to give it back to you uh, anyway this parcel and i'm a fox at fox lab fox lab actually in my home but yeah i'm calling it a fox lab anyway here we go for so many cg softwares like uh, adobe softwares photoshops uh, illustrator after effects premiere and i think i'm learning in some a little bit of indesign too now and i'll be giving it to you after i am okay with it anyway today we are going for cinema 4d and uh, unreal engine how to get a hair to unreal engine 2.6 sorry 4.26 not 2.6 4.26 version of unreal engine and working with it and how to animate that uh, like a dynamic or not a, like a soft body or a higher dynamics how to add the higher dynamics to it and um, yeah let's get into that before that i want to give it a big shout out for jonathan winbush who actually get me from cinema 40 to unreal engine the magical world of unreal engine and uh, yeah uh, i never see him doing this hair thing so i'm doing it and uh let's go to it. so here we are at cinema 4d r23 right now and you can follow with any version of cinema 4d but you need unreal engine 4.26 for this at least for this method of importing hair to unreal engine okay we'll make a head here and uh, we'll get it from our content browser search for head and you'll get a head here if you have the content library installed in your system and i'll just use this head for now and uh, we don't need the material and we don't need the material here. to get closer to our head we can press s and you'll be closer to your head it will be focused and uh, i think the technical term is frame it all i believe anyway press s for focusing it on and uh, i'm making a selection tag or oh, is giving a selection maybe somewhere here we are not gonna do any grooming or anything like that so we'll go to simulate hair object and add hair okay the hair is huge so we'll go to hair object and in the guide step we'll put it somewhat 10 centimeter will work i think okay it's okay i believe and if we press ctrl r for rendering here it is not looking that good but one of the reason is in our material it is too thick so we go to material for those of who don't know hair object is mostly controlled in our hair material like length thickness and um, the shape of the hair and all that the hair object controls only the guides the guides who direct our hairs for dynamics and uh, its length is also controlled here but most of the hair things are controlled in our hair material so let's go to thickness and change it to somewhat 0.1 and 0 0.01 in the tip now if i press ctrl r we can see the hair is looking a little bit good but not that good so i'll turn on the frizz and kink and uh, i usually put the frizz and kink starting somewhere off from the zero point and let's try one more time it's looking okay but uh, we are not getting any lights and shadows so it will be ugly still uh, if we put a light here somewhere here and i'm pressing ctrl and dra click drag so it will make a duplicate somewhere here 
and uh, let's put it here we need to turn on the shadows for default lights in cinema 4d shadows and uh, now the hair look will look nice and okay but we don't need the lights here because we are getting this to unreal engine okay now in here we can do the grooming and all that uh, um maybe we can do that just to see if it will work on cinema sorry unreal engine 2 so i'll take a brush and uh, maybe let's put this one like this i know it's ugly but <laughs> yeah it's not our goal to make him beautiful we are just learning how to get this thing into unreal engine okay so first thing we have to do is go to dynamics and turn off our dynamics because the dynamics is done in unreal engine we don't need it here we just need the hair to get there okay and this is just the guides we don't need the guides we need the hair to get there in r23 version if you go to hair step sorry editor step and uh, guide change the guidelines into hairlines you can see the how the hair look like but this is not the thing this is just in our viewport you won't be getting these hairlines into unreal engine if you just export it like this if you want the hairlines there you need to turn off this one you don't have to turn off you can just turn it on but uh, i'm turning it off because viewport is struggling a little bit with this hair and we need to go to generate tab and change the type to spline now all the hairs is now a spline you can sweep it you can clone something on it you can do anything with it and we can change our hair count to somewhat 30,000 you don't have to do this but uh, Unreal Engine loads uh, it a little bit easier and we need to export it as Alembic so exporting Alembic will take some time so I'm just reducing this to 3,000 or even 20,000 to work with it and uh, i think it's enough and we can export this to unreal engine as alembic before we do that we change this to one frame because it doesn't matter if we rendered a alembic file of 90 frames or one frame it just take the first frame so we can just export it now i have to save my cinema 4d file somewhere so i press ctrl x and uh, in a random location i'm saving it as hair to u e you can give it any name i'm just giving that and i'm gonna make sure this file is ready for unreal engine we can do that by pressing ctrl d take your project settings or you can go to mode and select project you will get it to here and select signware and turn all of this on i don't have any image here so i am not changing any of this usually i put it 2048 into 2048 and png then this is this will be 16 bit but i don't have any textures here so i'll leave it as it is now let's go save it again ctrl s and right click take as alembic it will pick one frame so it is fast so now we can change this to 90 frame or whatever you like i save it again it is taking a lot of time because i forgot something we may need to we need to turn one of these on if you put it both if you put both the viewport is also struggling i think i don't know why it is fast now but usually it is struggling so i'll turn my original hair on and we have a alembic version here it's not dynamic it doesn't have any hair properties here but we have a alembic here okay now let's save it again and now i'm gonna load unreal engine 4.26 have to remember it should be 4.26 this to work with my method all the method i am not sure how to do that okay now we get 4.26 and uh, go to film television you can pick any of these presets i am taking film and television go to next i just need the blank one next and i have an nvidia graphics card so i am changing this to ray tracing enabled and give it a name like a uh, before the hair 
root doesn't matter what name you gave just create a project and we'll wait for it and here it is before we start we need to turn some of the plugins so i go to plugins and search for grew to import our hair material we need to turn this on and for importing our cinema 4d material we need data smith p4d importer so we we'll turn that to on and uh, we may need to press restart now it will be restarting anytime now and here it is let's close this one uh, you can ignore this one or just press update doesn't matter anyway here we are at unreal engine the first thing i usually do is invert the mouse settings to match with our cinema 40 so for that we'll go to edit and editor preferences and go for invert we'll turn this on and close it and i forgot to check one other thing you go to settings then project settings we need to search for compute and you can see it support compute skin cache if it is not turned on turn it on okay it's turned for turned on for me and it's stayed out i don't know why but it's turned on so we'll work with that now i'll load my cinema 40 file before that we'll delete this and load it okay this is my folder and i'll load my r to ue c4d open remember you need to turn on that sign work thing if you are using r21 and above i think okay let's press ok and if you are importing the c4d file for the first time you need to turn this all on and press import okay so here is our head but there is no hair here i'll reduce my speed to three yeah, i think it is okay for me okay i'll put it in three and i don't like this snap to grid thing so i'll turn it off too okay so we have our head here but our hair is missing if we look at our cinema 40 file our hair is here but it is not here that is why we have to save it as an alembic file this is our saved folder cinema 4d saved folder we have an alembic folder here when we right clicked this one and bake as alembic it will automatically makes an alembic folder here and put our alembic file inside that we need this abc file to load into our unreal engine file so i'll just drag and drop it here and it will be asking some question for cinema 4d files i found it out we need 90 degree angle in x and z 180 i don't know why it is rotated and all that but minus 90 in x rotation and 180 in z rotation will work so leave everything as it is just press import and we give it some time there it is we have imported our hair object successfully you need to turn on both of that groom plugins to work it so i'll just click and drag into our project and it will somewhere in the world so we need to move it to our head object for that it's easy as we just drag and drop it to our head first i think that's the game we gave or cinema 4d gave in here so i'll just drag and drop it here now the head is the pattern of hair so select the hair press this button for reset to default or oh, make it zero easier way is just pressing this one it will put the hair in the right place you can see the hair is there and it bought all our free pink length all that settings and even our grooming our hair styling here okay so it is working and now if i move my head object it will be moving along with it because it's the child if the parent moves child move okay but it is not dynamic it's not moving dynamically or there is no physics in it so we have to add that for that we save the current file for safety maybe save all 
and say selected just do that and uh, you don't have to do that just do that okay we'll double click on our hair object a window should be opened mine is open in a different window so i'll just drag it to here or oh, you can dock it here i'll dock it here so this will be the window you will be getting and for dynamics to work all you have to do is you have some tabs here go to physics tab and go to solver settings just enable this one enable simulation you don't have to change anything at all now if i move it to here you can see or press save and move it here and you can see the dynamics working you can it i believe okay it's working and that's how you bring cinema 4d hairs to unreal engine and some of the extra tricks will be sometimes if you bring the hair material you will be getting something like this you won't be seeing anything or oh, the hair is too thin to work with so go to hair object and go to strand here you can change the hair properties hair strand properties hair root tip any of the thickness properties go to hair width it will be like this just increase one more point if i increase it will be ugly as hell so i'm not gonna do that if your hair is not showing up just increase it to point one so this is okay for me and you can check other things too hair root scale hair tip scale just like we did in cinema 40 you can reduce our hair tip scale to 0.1 and it will be like this and i think we don't need to go there point three is enough okay press save and go to main and it will be here and it is oh it's my dynamic i think i broke something with my dynamics maybe i turn it off and turn it on again save it is beta right now so there is some problem maybe we'll put it here right from here let's change it to something else and change it back to yeah good enough there are some bugs it may not be bugs but um it's in beta so bear with it now the last thing is hair materials for that we select hair and go down there is a hair material default hair material is there so we'll go search button and you can see that here i'm just making a duplicate my hair okay the space is the problem so my hair i'll just put it my hair and we can replace it with that hair and we can double click open change the color whatever you need i'll change the coloring to some what dark or even a green hair <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing i'm just giving it a color no that is too ugly even for me maybe a tannish hair ah, okay i'll just save it and have fun with it i'm not gonna do all that i'll just close it I'll just close it and go with my content and here is our hair and here is our hat okay that's it and i hope you get it all and i'll be at the comment section if you have any doubt and um yeah i'm planning for one video at least at a week and uh i think i can do that anyway your subscription uh likes will be helping me so go subscribe like share and do that bell thingy and see you next time